Gotcha! <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna... Yeah! Oh no! Okay, so, let me fill you in. About this time last year, I made this really high-powered Nerf gun. It was so powerful it could destroy glass. Turned out pretty cool. So after we did the video, we set it up on this shelf, worked as a display piece. It's kind of cool to me, like, walking into a place and seeing something that, like, I put a lot of effort into building, and in this particular instance, it, it led right to tragedy. This didn't happen on cameras. No, no cameras were rolling. It was a cold November night. Me and Carmichael were editing away, and Ren, Nico, were hack sack, and things were getting rowdy. <laughs> Ren, in a desperate attempt, he's just committing to this. Foot goes right in the shell, hits full force. My gun tumbles down, hits the ground, and shatters into a thousand pieces. Maybe not a thousand pieces, more like a million pieces. Dude, those artist recreations are like literally so realistic, they're giving me flashbacks to that day. Just give me a moment. I collected the parts, put them in the workshop, and I said, I'm gonna fix you, gun. And then the end of the year happened and we got really busy and I didn't have time. It just so happens that we have some downtime right now, but the studio's been cleaned and I don't really know where all the parts are. I'm embarking on a glorious journey to reforge my gun, but I wanna take it a step further, build something that I've been kind of like thinking about for a while now. I wanna build a net gun. More specifically, I want to build a barrel attachment, which can be interchangeable on the current gun body. So I put the parts here, that's the last I saw them. And I'm not seeing them now. I hope they didn't throw them away. There. It's gone. Oh man. This freaking sweet muzzle brake that Sam 3D printed. Oh man. I hope I can even get the main body of the gun reforged as it was. This is so sad, dude. Those of you who didn't see the original video, fill it up back here, the air is stored in here. It goes into this drill handle that we modified. When you click the trigger, it opens this sprinkler valve which releases the air into the barrel and then shoots the dart out. Now, there's been a fracture here. <laughs> What, what you could do, don't replace this broken piece. You get a PVC pipe that's slightly smaller in the circumference and you put it on the inside that can go across both. We're just gonna prime, then we're gonna cement. A wonderful time. Oh, this is like cemented shut. I hate when my cement cans get cemented. I wanna try. Yes, the can technique. There you go, man. From the ashes a fire shall be woken. Oh man, this one's a good. Don't breathe that. Renewed shall be blade that was broken. I'm about to cut this. The crownless again shall be king. that you're making? I'm making the gun that I had until you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to make a net gun. Have you ever been trapped by a net? Uh, once back in 64.
Might as well quit. Cause it's Dobie eating this bitch. Yeah, it's Dobie eating this bitch. Alright. I have successfully reforged the rifle. Let's get this off. Now, it's time to begin on the net gun attachment for the barrel. V1 net mechanism. Ready? I'm expecting these to fire out somewhat fast. Gotcha! <laughs> yes! All I have to do is aim a little bit higher. Especially, I mean, the net's gonna be wider than the string is, too. So it's very important that when I actually do the net assembly, so that the spread is even and they don't pull each other down in the air. This net is really hard to work with, though, because it's very thin and it loves to tangle on stuff. I suppose that's the nature of a net, though. Do you guys need net? Dude? I could probably net the whole world with this. Never empathized with fish as much as I do now. We finally got the net cut down. It was huge. Cleaned up the borders of it. And now I'm attaching one of the darts to each corner. Hopefully, when they shoot out, they'll spread the net evenly. We're gonna try the dangle. One, net. Almost. Okay, let me try it, ready? Three, two, one. Fire no! Oh! What are you guys doing in there? You gotta use a 22 ram set to put the bottom plates in that uses a 22 charge. Three, two, one. Frickin' dowels keep going through the net and causing these crazy tangles. This ain't making no pot pie from a Marie Calendar, that's for sure. Yeah, man, I think we need a... We're gonna need to order a bigger net. A better net. A bigger and better net. This net is huge, as I expected, so I need to cut it down to size. Nick! It needs... I'm so glad you got this net, because today's episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Oh, we're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that right now. And you know how this net cool. is like, captures all this stuff and it's all around us? Yeah. It's kind of like the internet. That's right. And you're out there and you're inside of the internet like I am right now inside of this net. Sending out my data all over the world. I'm on Amazon. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. I'm sending out all my data. Well, guess what? Without the encryption abilities of a VPN, your information's just out there for, for anyone who wants it to just snatch it up. Just like if you wanted to snatch up my data, that's all you'd have to do. With ExpressVPN, for just $7 a month, you can encrypt your data before it even hits the internet. You can use ExpressVPN on your phone, or you can use it on your PC as an extension. Even put it on mom and dad's PC. No problem, protect them too. So just check this out. Say that, say that I have my data here, and that's your data, and, I, and I'm out there and I wanna grab it, right? Yeah. Without a VPN, all I have to do is this, and it's mine. But, <gasps> oh. With a VPN, I just try to get it, and I can't, because it's encrypted. And so, all you guys gotta do is go to expressvpn.com slash corridor crew. It's got a 30 day money back guarantee. Also, if you buy the year package, you get three months free. That's expressvpn.com slash c-o-r-r-i-d-o-r-c-r-e-w. Take back your internet privacy today. What, what was I doing? What was I just doing? I think we all learned something valuable about VPNs today. But uh, now I gotta take this net out to the main floor and I gotta cut it down to size. Round two here. <laughs> I'm walking around aimlessly. Not a cure in the world. I don't think Whoa. anything's gonna. Got your bow. Oh no! <laughs> way too heavy. Well, I mean, I've spent like three days in total working on this. If you combine all the hours, the darts are going with my with my Nerf gun. Like, it has enough power to get those darts out there at a nice speed, but it's the net that's holding them back. So if I can just reduce the weight of the net by a half, I think that should do it. I just said half because I didn't do the math, but it, it's gonna be a significant amount. This net is looking great, and it's a lot lighter, and I can already tell 
it's going to tangle a lot less and be easier to untangle if it does tangle. Look at all this. I can, I can feel just by scooping all this up, that's a considerable amount of weight that I just shed from the net. All right, and now I'm about to test if this actually was effective. You guys, oh, no. Jesus Christ! You guys can't be that young. Um, I've heard of John Wayne. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Follow me. Effective range isn't that great, but in a quick pinch, I think this is perfect for netting someone around the corner. Got him. You have no idea how satisfying that is after freaking three days of trying to make this thing work. Hello, my name's Nick Steele. For the last 11 minutes, I've been building a net gun. Today, I'm here at one of YouTube's hottest streets. I'm gonna catch myself some influencers for my zoo. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about some writing opportunities for the next science videos. So I got a few good ideas. Ah! Ah! Oh god! Got him! Oh my god! You got it working! <laughs> that was great! There was a bunch of clutter all over the desk and whatnot. And like, someone, so it wasn't even labeled. Someone put the thing. Oh! We're going to the zoo. Oh my god. Oh, no. <sighs> I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So I was going to enjoy my lunch. <laughs> That time it was too powerful. This is the Bolt 500 with the TerraJack transmitter built into it. I'm running it on the camera. It's daylight bright and it automatically connects to my little director monitor. Like <laughs> it was this big. That they were thinking? No, the monitor was this big. Big metal rig and okay. too big. I figured it out. <laughs> Close ranges, yes, it's pretty effective if, uh, if the air doesn't all leak out. Thanks. Like, I, I kind of want to make a new air tank that actually like doesn't leak. Um, but for now, I think it's time to restore the gun to its original resting place. Tarnation. <laughs> Merlin's pants. Caesar's ghosts. Fiddlesticks. Love that one. Snickerdoodles. Jeez, Terwilligers. Mother Smucker.